Let's talk a little bit about how to use Facebook ads reporting. Um, first thing you need to do is select the ad account that you're looking to work with. Once we've done that, then all we have to do is click over here where it says Ads Manager, hover over all tools, under Measure and Report, go to Ads Reporting. And now here's where we're going to create uh, um, the report. So now if you click Create from Template, it'll actually show you um, what you like what are some options for you so what I normally do those I just click create and it'll give you campaign name ad set name delivery reach impressions frequency results cost per result and amount spent and for most of the time that is uh, usually going to be enough data if you need to add another specific um, column then you can just click that little plus sign over here and, and choose the one that you're looking for so um, if you're looking for say uh, the CPM or the cost per thousand people reached or cost per click all or, or one of these stats um, you can actually do it that way but uh, I think most of the time doing the report with these statistics um, or with these these uh, this information is enough um, and then you can also if you want you can reorganize uh, the way that that these look um, or the order that they come in. Then you can select the date range by going over here and if you're looking for say like last full week or whatever you just select that and it'll update and it will update all the, uh, the, the stats. Now the question is how do you pull a specific report? So that's actually very simple. All you need to do is uh, go to this plus sign. This is why it's very important for um, for naming conventions to be consistent. So, for example, every ad that's running to the Course Builders Bootcamp funnel will contain Course Builders Bootcamp. But um, if you're looking for a specific like subset, um, then you obviously you need to know the um, you need to know what that what that label is. So, for example, uh, if you're looking for authority content, then you also need to add to the campaign name authority content. If you're looking for course content, you're looking uh, to find the course content there. Um, if you're looking to get the demographic exclusions that's LAA's broad um, if you're looking to get a particular demographic exclusion then you can just look at the name of each each one of these um, I'll actually give them to you in, in the name so some of these you see contain EverWebinar if you're looking for EverWebinar you search for that and then of course like let's say you're going through and like we just found out like if you're on if you're looking for um, a demographic exclusion, but you don't want to deal with EverWebinar, and you pull up the report and you notice, hey, crap, these have got a bunch of EverWebinar stuff on it, then you say campaign name does not contain EverWebinar. And then once you've gone through here and you're satisfied that you've that you've got the campaigns that you're looking for, then all you have to do is uh, you can save it then you can also save as and save it as a template and I would actually really recommend that and then you name it like for example this one would be um, demographic exclusions uh, to cold traffic and then you confirm it and it will actually create that as a template so that the next time you go to do a report um, you, it's already there so now the way that you do it to export is actually really simple you just click export export as a CSV include summary row and then you just click the export and it'll download right to your computer and you can you can use it that way um, and then you'll see um, here are all the reports that have currently been created and you can delete a report or you can duplicate a report so this would be great if like for example you wanted to um, to have a record of say demographic ex exclusions every week um, 
then you could have like demographic exclusions and, and put the date there. And then the next week go demographic, just duplicate this, change the date and you'll have all the reports already there. Or if you don't want to clog it up, what I would also, what I would probably recommend actually, because you can change the date so easily just by clicking in and seeing the info, unless of course something's really relevant to you. Um, then I would just go and I would create only one template for each of the, um, the, the particular reports you're trying to make. So whether it's demographic exclusion or um, not demographic exclusion or anything from EverWebinar or PLC or course content or um, authority content or any of the other verticals that come up, I would just create one simple, um, one simple template Make sure that it's what you want by downloading one and checking to see that it's working and doing what you want it to do. And then just literally um, just go in and edit it each week and just re-download it. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. The most important thing is making sure that your columns include the data that you're looking to report. And um, it's also obviously very important that you know the campaign names that you're looking to include and exclude.